everyone and welcome to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and today we are in the Keller Kitchen. Um, we are going to be making something from the Hello Cupcake What's New. I call this the Penguin Cover Penguin <laughs> Cover Book, whichever way you want to call it. Um, so what we're making today is actually it's called Hold the Anchovies. It's basically a cupcakes together to look like a pizza. And we're actually having pizza for dinner tonight. So hey, having pizza for dinner and some pizza cupcakes. Why not? Okay, so what you're going to need for this is first of all, you're going to need 10 vanilla cupcakes, which I actually have more than that because that's what it makes. Um, you can do any cupcakes that you want um, as far as I just did box. You know, I just bought a box cake and made cupcakes out of it. Or you can do, you know, if you want to make your own by hand from scratch, you can do that. However you want to do it. You just need 10 vanilla cupcakes in the white um, cupcake holders, okay? All right, so that's the first thing you're going to need. Then you're going to need eight ounces of chocolate, of white chocolate chips, okay? And you're going to take those chocolate chips and you're either going to put it in some kind of microwavable container where they can kind of flatten out. Or, uh, what else was it say? Uh, da, 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 da. A small plastic or foil container, okay? So whichever one, you can make a little foil container that's about two by four inches and two inches deep, okay? So I just had this little plastic container. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the eight ounces of white chocolate chips, you're gonna melt them in the microwave until they're nice and smooth, and then you're just gonna put them in here and smooth out the top so you get like this, okay? And then you're gonna put that in the fridge for 20 minutes until it sets. And then you're gonna take it out of the fridge and let it warm up to room temperature, okay? Or just let it sit at room temperature while you're doing the rest of your stuff, okay? So there's that. You're also going to need some canned frosting. So you're gonna need one can of white vanilla frosting plus another half a cup. So I bought two cans. And what you're gonna do with the first can um, you're gonna get one and one fourth cups of vanilla frosting. You're gonna put it in a bowl and you're gonna tint it with a half a teaspoon of baking cocoa, okay? And two or three drops of um, yellow food dye. And you're gonna stir that up to get kind of like a light brown. It's kind of a tannish looking color, okay? Then you're gonna take the, the three fourths of a cup of frosting that's left and put it in a bowl and you're going to tint it red, as red as you can get it, because this is your tomato sauce for your pizza. So tint it red and then put a thing of plastic wrap over the top of it, because you're gonna be microwaving this later, okay? All right, so after you have all of that done, then you're for the pepperoni, you're gonna take some fruit, some strawberry fruit roll-ups, okay? And it says you can use a cookie cutter or whatever to try to cut them out. I think I'm just going to use a pair of scissors and try to cut out circles. They may not be perfect, but I'm not going to worry about it. I did try to use my little round cookie cutter, but it's a little too big. I want you to do tiny ones like mini pepperonis. Um, so I think I'm just going to try cutting them out with scissors when we get to that point. Okay. Then you're going to need, uh, it says to do them in one inch circles, which mine's like two inch. So it's too big. Okay. So then for the cheese, which is um, you're gonna use this the, the white chocolate chips that you had um, and you're gonna grate that, okay? Um, so the melted chocolate block, you're gonna grate it to make cheese. And I haven't done that yet. I think I'm just gonna, it says you can just do it over wax paper so that you have it. Um, and it says to do about half of the block. Um, uh, yeah, it says half of the block of white chocolate um, on your largest opening on your grater. I think I'm just going to do it over top of the pizza when we get to that point. Okay, so then the next thing that you're going to need, which reminds me, I do need the grater. Let's get that out while I'm thinking about it. Okay, so then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to need some chocolate wafers. So it says to get to get something like, um, what do they call it? Famous chocolate wafers. Um, they're supposed to be thin chocolate cookies. I couldn't find any, I couldn't find any round ones and they're supposed to be round. Um, so I just bought Oreos basically and took the tops off. So mine have a little bit of frosting on the bottom, but this isn't gonna be matter, matter it's gonna be covered up, okay? So you're gonna need 10 of these, okay? All right, so 
here's what we're going to do. So we're gonna start with the cupcakes. You can either um, use a platter or here I have a, this is a pizza pan that we don't use very often anymore, that'll work. You can also, they say they, in the book, that they go to their local pizza shop and ask for a pizza box and they get one for free. I don't know if all pizza shops will do that, but you could do that as well and do this in a pizza box. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one cupcake and you're gonna put it right in the center of your platter or your pan or whatever you're gonna do. Okay, then you are going to place six more cupcakes surrounding that, okay? So one, two, three, four, maybe, five, and six. And you're supposed to put them as close together as you can get them, okay? So six cupcakes around that, the middle one. Then you're gonna do 12 more cupcakes. So is it, maybe there's more than 10. But, oh, you needed 19 cupcakes. Do I have 19 cupcakes? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, ooh, I only have 18. I'm gonna be short one, whoopsie. Okay, so now you're gonna put 12 more around here. So I'm sorry, you actually need 19 cupcakes, not 10, my fault. And if I were to realize that, I'd try to make sure I squeezed another one out, whoops, okay. But that's okay. So we'll just be short one. It'll be a little bit of a lopsided pizza. All right. So we'll just try to get these all around here. And again, make sure you try to get them as close together as you can. Okay. Poo, guys. Poo. Okay. We'll just kind of spread these out a little bit further. And hopefully that'll fill in for that one that's not there. I hope. Perfect. Got it. Okay. So then you have a circle of cupcakes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here we go. All right. So the next thing that you're going to do is use a serrated knife. Let me get this book out of the way. Okay. So you're going to take a serrated knife and you're going to cut each of these 10 little chocolate wafers in half. Okay. Oh, and I also forgot to tell you, so for the brown, the tannish looking frosting that you made, so here's mine, um, you're going to put this, you can put it in a Ziploc bag if you want and seal the bag up after you press all the air out of it. Just make sure you have corners on that because mine doesn't have corners and it messes everything up. Or you can put it in a, a frosting, you know, a frosting bag as well, okay? And you're going to need that here in just a minute. Okay, so you're going to take your 10 cookies and you're going to cut them in half. Oh good, it didn't crack up. So that you have two little half moons, okay? So let me get all 10 of these done here real quick. Uh-oh, that one did break a little. I think I would be careful about how hard, maybe sawing action, maybe you should just press through it. <laughs> that kind of works, okay? Maybe do a sawing action with a press through, maybe, okay. You know, figure out the best way for, oops, and that one just broke, so we're gonna have to get a new one there. Okay. Oh, that one broke too, so we need a new one for that one. That one's good. All right, so let me get two more here. I saved to the bottoms. I'll just scrape some of this frosting off here. I know, a shame. Scrape the frosting off in the Oreo. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we got the frosting off of those. Let's try these two. Mm, good enough. Okay, so forewarned, these will break. Well, maybe if you got the actual cookies that I asked for, maybe it'll do better. I don't know. Okay, so now. What you're gonna do with these is you're going to take your little bag of frosting. Let's make sure it's all pushed down here. Give it a little twist. Okay, and you're gonna cut a small little, so see I have this little, little tip here. You're just gonna cut a tiny piece off so that you just can't, just a little bit of frosting can come out. Okay, and you're gonna cut it bigger later, okay? So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little half rounds um, 
Okay, so you're gonna put just basically two little dots of frosting on each side of the little half round, okay? Kind of like that. And you're just gonna stick them in between two cupcakes. So you're basically filling in the spot between the cupcakes um, so that when you do the frosting, nothing's falling down between the cupcakes, okay? So you're just gonna kind of fill that in a little bit, gluing them down, and you know, do the round side out and try to make sure that they're, you know, kind of evening up with the outside of the cupcakes. Okay, let me get this all done here. Oh, that one just wants to fall. There we go. Oh, I just tripped a little bit on there, whoopsie. Okay, so we're just gonna put these on here, hopefully. Some of these won't be spaced out too far, but you never know. Oops, I missed one. I didn't cut it. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay. Almost got it here. some of mine are spaced a little bit too far out it's kind of uh making it hard for the, some of them to stay but that's okay okay so we got that done get this out of the way here all right so then once you get that done um let's see okay so then you can repeat that again to fill in any gaps. Um, so let's see. No, I'm not sure if I really need any, to be honest with you. Maybe here. Just knocked one off. Whoopsie. Just kind of filling gaps here. And I think I'm going to fill in some actual gaps in the cupcakes too. Make sure everything is nice and filled in. Okay. So just basically use these to fill in any big gaps in between the cupcakes so that, you know, no frosting goes falling in between. Okay. All right, so I think I got all those filled in. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, so now you're going to um, Cut the remaining um, wafers and oh, and then you're, you can use any wafers that you have left and just um, kind of put them in between any of the cupcakes to fill in all the holes, okay? So just kind of place them in there. Make sure all your holes are filled up. Oh, that one's gonna need a bigger piece. Let me grab another one here. Let's scrape this off real quick. Okay. All right. There we go, you guys. Okay, so I think I pretty much got all of them filled in. Might need one more here. Okay. Right there, right there. Uh, keep, of course, the more you look, the more you find. All right. Let's just 
get these filled up. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Maybe one more. Mine probably has so many gaps because, you know, I'm missing a cupcake, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Okay, so I think that's got it all. All right, good. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now we got all of those filled in. Okay, so now you're going to snip a larger corner from the bag of the light brown frosting um, for the crust. And you're gonna pipe a steady line of frosting along the outer edge. So let me bring you guys up a little bit closer. Oh, oops, just knocked your heads on the counter or on the cabinet. Okay, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your frosting bag or Ziploc bag, whichever one you're using, and you're gonna cut your tip bigger, okay? Maybe even a little bigger than that, I think. There we go. Okay, and basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go around the outer edge and you're gonna make a crust, big fluffy crust, okay? Okay, almost there. Good, okay, this one needs a little bit filled in maybe. Okay, try to make it look as good as possible. Uh oh, that one fell. That's not supposed to happen. All right, so fill that in there. Oh, they're falling off, guys, they're falling off. should use a little bit more than a dot. This one's trying to fall off. So I'm gonna use this one in the back to put that, or that one in the front to put that one there. There we go. Okay, there we go. I think we got it. Looks like it. This one's looking a little wonky. Okay, there we go, we got that now. Okay, so now you got that done. And then you're supposed to use like a little spatula or something to kind of blend the inside edge in with the cups. I'm just gonna use my finger. It kind of looks like it's going down here. Okay, good. Okay, so we got that done. All right, so what's the next part? Okay, so now you're gonna microwave the, right, the red frosting slightly for three to five seconds. Um, and this is gonna be for the sauce. So I'll be right back and I will microwave this real quick. supposed to do just pour it yep okay so you're just going to use basically like a rubber spatula stir that up a little bit and you're just going to kind of put this on and then spread it out and I don't know that I got mine dyed red enough it's kind of a very hot pink looking but that's okay it'll still taste good right so that's all that matters. All right. Ooh, those cookie things wanna move. Makes it a lot harder to do this. And I think maybe a spoon would be easier than a spatula. Let's try that. I 
let's try doing a spoon here. There, it's a little bit better. Just don't want it to get too much involved with the edge. Ah, cookies are moving, the cookies are moving. I don't think those are supposed to be popping out. It's been easier to just frost it on from the bowl than to kind of dump it on and then frost it because these cookie pieces are everywhere and they're making clumps in it now and making it hard to frost everything. So now instead of covering up the gaps, I just got random cookie pieces in the center of the cake. Oh well, we'll just keep trying to spread it out here. This little guy is falling down. It might have just been easier to, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure. This is definitely not the easiest part. I think it would be easier to just spread it on there also probably be easier if I wasn't missing a cupcake. You know? Hey. Oh. Okay, so we're trying to get this over here. Where all the cupcakes are covered. Okay, you guys, so. Just, I'm actually going to use my finger to do this. Get it up in there. You can see the cookie that was there has moved. So it's not blocking it now. There we go. And hopefully we can cover some of this mess up with the, the cheese and stuff. That'll be good. Okay, so. Kind of try to smooth it out a little. And I'll just have to try to cover the other stuff up with the other toppings. Okay, so there we go. Now, what's next? Okay, so the next part is, oh, we did that. And quite a few swirls for texture. I think we've got that down. Now, you're gonna sprinkle the top of the red frosting with your grated white cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of here if I can. These bowls are pretty flexible, so hopefully, there we go. And I'm gonna cut it, or clump it in about half here. Actually, it's kind of two pieces. Okay, and so I'm just gonna take my chocolate, grate it with my grater. Hopefully get some nice good pieces. There we go. Making some cheese there. Still seems to be kind of small cheese, if you know what I mean. Kind of looks like Parmesan. I'm just gonna go all the way around here. Get some cheese on there. we get out here along the edge. cheese there okay so after you do that now for the sausage you're going to add 
some um, grips like these here, some grips, chocolate, little round chocolate cookies. And then you're also going to do use some um, chocolate covered raisins. So I should open that beforehand. Does it tell you how many grips or anything like that? Just as a third of a cup of covered chocolate raisins and 1.9 ounce small round chocolate cookie like grips. Okay. So you're gonna sprinkle both on for the sausage. So what we're gonna do here, does that say a third of a cup? Is that what I said? Yeah, a third of a cup. That's probably gonna be maybe like this whole box. And a nine, is this, I don't know if these are nine ounce packages. Or point, yeah, 0.95, okay. All right. So what we're gonna do is just Sprinkle these on. It does kind of look like sausage. And then you're gonna sprinkle some of these on. And then you've got like, you know, darker and lighter things of sausage. Could be olives too. Could be sausage and olives. Whatever. Okay. There's that. All right, so then anything else? What else do we have to? Oh, grate some more chocolate, white chocolate on there if you want, which I think mine looks fine. And then you're gonna uh, place the remaining half a teaspoon of cocoa powder in a fine sieve and lightly dust a few areas on the crust um, for the, the pizza, for like an oven co co color. Oh my gosh, can't speak. Okay, so we just need a little half a teaspoon of this half a teaspoon half a teaspoon okay so i got my little half a teaspoon i got my little sieve here that one is still trying to fall down so we're just going to kind of try to put this in there it's kind of made a mess is what it's done Okay, I think that looks good. What do you guys think? Hmm? All right, give me a little bit more around here. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot the pepperoni. How could we forget the pepperoni? All right, so for your pepperoni, so like I said, you're gonna use fruit roll-ups and then you're going to, you kinda gotta cut out circles somehow, just like one inch ones. And then you're just gonna place them all over the uh, pie, cake, whatever. So you're just gonna put some of those on there. Mine have little like symbols on them. It's hard to find fruit roll-ups that don't have stuff on them now. It's kind of sad actually, but that's all right. So I'm not very good at cutting circles. I've realized this, but you can use like a round cookie cutter if you want. Um, I don't know, maybe if you have uh, something that'll punch a hole, I'm not quite sure. So I'm just gonna put a few on here at random. Although I will say, I do like a, just a sausage pizza without the pepperoni. But you know, we'll, we'll put the, the fruit roll-ups on here. Otherwise we might not get the full flavor effect. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so let's get a few more on. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. Cutting out, trying to cut out circles out of a fruit roll. -up. Okay. Maybe just a few more and then I'll show you guys what we got. It's gonna be a crinkly pepperoni. Okay, and you can do as many or as little as you want. Here we go. Now it's done. And it really is cute. Look at that. I love it. It's so much. It looks like a pizza. <laughs> okay, you guys. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you like or don't if you don't. Whatever. Everybody have a good day. Enjoy your cooking. Keep your kitchen messy.
Mine's really messy right now. <laughs> and we'll see you later. Bye.